The Wonder Years, a classic TV series from 1988, takes you on a journey through the ups and downs of adolescence in a suburbia setting. As you dive into the lives of Kevin Arnold and his friends, you'll discover a treasure trove of funny, shocking, and sad facts that add layers to the narrative. What lesser-known anecdotes about this series fascinate you the most? This timeless show has endured the test of time, becoming a symbol of the industry. What enduring qualities do you believe make the Wonder Years an everlasting representation of television excellence? With each episode, it captures the essence of growing up in a way that resonates with audiences across generations. As you reminisce about this iconic series, we're eager to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Wonder Years. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching, there's more to unfold. The Wonder Years, which first graced television screens in 1988, has left an indelible mark on popular culture, shaping the landscape of coming-of-age narratives and family-centric storytelling. The show's impact resonates through its poignant exploration of adolescence, masterfully weaving a narrative that delves into universal themes of love, friendship, and self-discovery. Its legacy lies in the authentic portrayal of Kevin Arnold's journey through the tumultuous years of the late 1960s and early 1970s. The show skillfully captures the essence of a generation, navigating the complexities of societal changes, family dynamics, and personal growth. Its ability to evoke nostalgia while addressing timeless challenges contributes to enduring relevance. The show's cultural impact extends beyond its initial run, as subsequent generations continue to connect with its relatable characters and timeless storytelling. Its influence on subsequent TV shows and films is evident, with many drawing inspiration from its narrative approach and emotional depth. One of its key strengths is the ability to tackle serious topics with sincerity and humor, striking a delicate balance that resonates with viewers of all ages. The nuanced exploration of societal issues such as racism and war alongside the everyday struggles of adolescence adds depth to the narrative and elevates it beyond a mere period piece. In an ever-evolving media landscape, the wonder years' enduring relevance can be attributed to universal themes and timeless storytelling. Its ability to capture the essence of growing up and navigating the complexities of life ensures its place as a classic in the annals of television history. In conclusion, it remains a captivating and emotionally resonant series that has left an indelible mark on the television landscape. Its impact, legacy, and continued relevance stem from an authentic portrayal of the human experience, making it a timeless piece of storytelling that transcends generations. The 1988 TV series unfolded against the cultural and historical tapestry of the 1950s in the United States. This post-war era was marked by a complex blend of optimism and societal transformations. The aftermath of World War II brought about economic prosperity, leading to a burgeoning middle class. Simultaneously, the Cold War tensions and the threat of nuclear conflict loomed large, shaping the political landscape. In the 1950s, there was a palpable shift in American culture. Traditional values, including gender roles and family dynamics, were undergoing changes, the suburban lifestyle gained prominence, portraying an idyllic image of nuclear families in neatly manicured homes. Television became a powerful medium, reflecting and influencing societal norms. The 50s were a time of conformity, but also of rebellion, as the Beat Generation and the early roots of the civil rights movement emerged. The series drew inspiration from this cultural milieu, intertwining its narrative with the societal shifts of the 1950s. It explored the nuances of family life, friendship, and adolescence against the backdrop of a changing America. It captured the essence of the era through its portrayal of everyday life, societal expectations, and the tensions bubbling beneath the surface. The themes, ranging from the pursuit of the American dream to the impact of historical events on personal lives, mirrored the broader societal conversations of the 1950s. The tension between conformity and individuality, a central theme, echoed the societal struggles of that time. Through the lens of the protagonist, viewers witnessed the challenges and triumphs of growing up in a transformative period of American history. In essence, the show skillfully intertwined its narrative with the intricate cultural and historical fabric of the 1950s. By doing so, it not only provided a nostalgic glimpse into the past, but also offered a reflective commentary on the enduring themes of human experience that transcend any particular time period. Its resonance lies in its ability to capture the universal aspects of coming of age amidst a backdrop of societal change.
Jason Hervey, known for his role in The Wonder Years, revealed an interesting behind-the-scenes tidbit. The scenes where he inches the car forward as Kevin tries to get in were inspired by his older brother, who did the same to him. Fred Savage, who portrayed Kevin Arnold, caught the attention of the show's casting directors through his roles in Vice Versa and The Princess Bride. Despite not having heard of either movie, producers obtained a rough cut of Vice Versa and cast Savage primarily based on his performance in the film. Interestingly, Winnie's name, a central character in The Wonder Years, is short for Gwendolyn. These details add unique layers to the characters and the show's dynamics. So, whether it's the relatable sibling dynamics or the casting choices made from rough cuts, The Wonder Years holds intriguing anecdotes from its production. After its co-creators, Carol Black and Neil Marlins grew disillusioned with Hollywood and left, Bob Brush assumed the role of showrunner and executive producer for The Wonder Years from season two until its conclusion. The schools depicted in the series, RFK Junior High, Lincoln Junior High, and McKinley High School, carried names of assassinated men. Crystal McKellar, who had auditioned for the role of Winnie, took on the character of Becky Slater, Kevin's occasional love interest and nemesis, after being turned down for the lead role. Intriguingly, the character Winnie's name is short for Gwendolyn. These behind-the-scenes details, from the change in leadership to the school's symbolic names and unique casting choices, add layers to the Wonder Years, offering a distinct perspective on the show's development. These anecdotes provide insight into the production dynamics shaping the series we know today. The Wonder Years, a TV series that began in 1988, deliberately avoided specifying its setting, aiming for a universal Anytown, USA vibe. Originally intended for Long Island, New York, the show's producers, under Avic's influence, opted for an ambiguous location. However, subtle details suggest a suburban Los Angeles backdrop, such as California license plates, mountainous landscapes, and the absence of harsh winters. Notably, Ohio also emerges as a potential setting with accidental references to places like Loudonville. Drawing inspiration from a Christmas story, The Wonder Years welcomed Peter Billingsley, who portrayed Ralphie in the holiday classic for a guest appearance in the final episode. A nod to the holiday film adds an extra layer of connection for viewers. Behind the scenes, Fred Savage, the series' lead actor, had an on-set narrator read the voiceover lines, facilitating his reactions to the dialogue. This unique approach aimed to enhance the authenticity of the show's narrative. Additionally, the series subtly incorporated real-life elements, like Jack's job at a defense contractor, adding authenticity to the plot. These insights into the show's production, setting choices, and creative inspirations offer a distinct perspective on the Wonder Years, making it more than just a nostalgic TV series. In the closing moments of its finale, the Wonder Years subtly weaved a personal touch into the narrative. The voice of the narrator's kid was none other than Daniel Stern's son, Henry. This intentional choice allowed with the show to conclude with a familial connection, as if they were speaking to each other beyond the screen. Post-series, Fred Savage's mother safeguarded a piece of memorabilia from the show. The New York Jets jacket worn in the early seasons found a new home in Savage's collection. In October 2014, he decided to donate it to the Smithsonian following the Institute's request for notable props from the series, marking a significant moment for fans and preserving a tangible piece of the show. The iconic home featured in the opening sequence and throughout the series, located at 516 University Ave, Burbank, California, became synonymous with the Arnold family. The exterior shots provided the backdrop for the relatable coming-of-age story that unfolded within its walls. In a final nod to its legacy, the show brought in Peter Billingsley, known for his role as Ralphie in A Christmas Story, for a guest appearance in the last episode. This deliberate connection to a holiday classic added an extra layer of familiarity and warmth for the viewers. From the intimate family-oriented conclusion to the donation of a cherished jacket and the choice of an iconic house, these details offer a closer look at the series, providing fans with a more personal connection. In the course of the Wonder Years, a significant plot point unfolds as Kevin and Winnie experience a falling out. This deviation from their close relationship is attributed to actress Danica McKellar's growth spurt, causing an awkward visual dynamic with Fred Savage, who was already shorter. The character's reconciliation follows as Savage catches up in height, resolving the on-screen discord. 
Noteworthy details from Season 5, Episode 14 reveal Wayne's birthday as April 6th, matching Jason Hervey's birthdate, both marked by the Vietnam Draft Lottery No. 312. This subtle connection adds an interesting layer to the show's narrative, aligning fictional and real-life elements seamlessly. Alicia Silverstone makes a guest appearance as Jessica in a particular episode. During filming, Fred Savage's attempt at romantic interest took an unexpected turn when Silverstone provided her parents' fax number instead of her own. This amusing incident sheds light on the more casual and unscripted moments behind the scenes. These backstage insights offer a glimpse into the practical challenges of maintaining visual continuity, the integration of real-life elements into the storyline, and the unexpected humor that unfolded during the show's production. Such details contribute to the unique character of the Wonder Years, providing fans with a more down-to-earth perspective on the series. In the Wonder Years, the Arnold family had a recurring theme at their dinner table mentions of a potato dish were almost a constant. This simple detail added a touch of consistency to the family scenes, creating a relatable aspect of their daily lives. As the show progressed, Bob Brush, taking over as showrunner, intentionally depicted a shift in the friendship dynamics between Kevin and Paul. With Kevin now having a driver's license, their closeness naturally evolved, reflecting the realistic changes in friendships as people grow older. This intentional choice in portraying the characters' evolving relationships received fan feedback during the last season. Towards the end of its run, the Wonder Years faced challenges leading to its cancellation. Despite declining ratings and rising budgets, disputes between the network and producers played a pivotal role. Producers wanted to delve into more mature issues as Kevin aged, but the network resisted, deeming such topics inappropriate for the show's time slot. These disagreements contributed to the ultimate decision to conclude the series. In the realm of behind-the-scenes insights, these facts shed light on the show's commitment to depicting ordinary family life and the challenges faced in maintaining creative direction amidst network constraints. The Wonder Years, through its attention to detail and family dynamics and intentional portrayal of evolving friendships, left an indelible mark on viewers, capturing the essence of real-life experiences in a coming-of-age journey.